Thank you, Vlad, for the five gifted. So we're going to see people here. But um, before we jump into this, let's go ahead and hit that pause button. So if you guys want to support the channel, because we do get demonetized for these videos. So thank you guys in the chat right now on the live stream. Make sure you download the digital drill booklet. It's $15 in the shop. Link's in the description for that. But you can put this on your phone mount, and you can start practicing in a parking lot. And you get the actual full booklet, too, as a digital download. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. But we're getting some Liam. Liam is donated like 20 gifted, more than 20 gifted, but let's jump right into this. Which was the main reason for the fall. Okay, so we're gonna turn left. Oh, do you see a little bit of the oil on the ground? I wonder if our tires are bald or if we applied the brakes or accelerated a little bit too much, lost some traction, or maybe even that uh, the clamp. Kept the uh, acceleration going, but I saw some, it looked like oil. On the ground. Let's take a look at that. Stain, which was the main reason for the fall. Yeah, there's a little bit of oil on the ground. That will do it. That will do it, especially slow enough. Front tire washed out, maybe. What do you guys think? Write it in the comments. We have 51 new members here on this live stream that we're doing today. Gosh, you guys are insane. All right, let's move on. Oh my god. Got a quad lock. Oh, he's upset. He's upset. All right. Not demon. Whoa, whoa. High mechanism of injury here. It's a terrible accident. Terrible accident. Hopefully nobody was ejected. I think that might be a person right there. That might be a person ejected. Oh, this is going to be something you're going to need to have some medical knowledge on because they will be bleeding either in more than likely internally but if, if it's external you can hopefully stop major bleeds so remain calm as best you can ensure your own safety as best you can so you don't get hit by other vehicles point at someone to call 911 bystander effect will will apply here where somebody will be like eh, somebody will call 911 but nobody really does Okay, so what we talk about here, yeah, is the rescue. Uh, this is the rescue card that you can get uh, inside the rescue pack that we're selling. We're running out of those, so make sure you guys grab one now. But if you don't know, remember, remain calm. So stay calm. It's their emergency. Make sure that you ensure your own safety, so hopefully no traffic's going to hit you. Also wear some gloves just in case you don't get any bloodborne pathogens. Um, keep your gear on. That way you don't get cut up by glass also. And stop any major bleeds. So you can do direct pressure, so put a lot of pressure. Not just like, oh, I'm going to barely hold it. No, you're like either squeezing it or putting your weight on that uh, open wound or at least uh, uh, on the artery up above. So if they're bleeding out here, you can put some weight up here on the brachial artery. Uh, use a tourniquet. That's what that is for too. We have a tourniquet inside of our rescue packs, but get, go ahead and get your own if you want. Um, and then quickly assess the severity. This can be a very severe accident. So more than likely, they're going to have head injuries spinal injuries. They might start going to shock if losing some blood or neurogenic shock, which is just going to drop everything because their nervous system is not working that well. The only thing you can really do is kind of just lay them down, stop any external bleeding. And we have Mylar blankets in the rescue pack, but if you have your own, keep them warm. That's really important to keep them warm. Um, but yeah, this is a terrible accident. Main thing here is to make sure you don't get hurt. That's really important. Thank you, Liam. Appreciate it. Guy cut me off on the freeway. I revved at him. Okay. Then he chased me off the freeway down a few city blocks. That's scary. That's scary. That's... Oh, did he hit him? He ran him over. Make sure you're safe. Get out of the road. Don't stand in front of vehicles, especially the one that already hit you. Right here, your bike, your bike's on its own. Get into an area, like stand around like a, a light pole, and then use that to dodge. Like you're playing tag at this point. Like get yourself safe. <laughs> Thank you for the $20, I forgot I had uh, Ultimate Warrior. But get yourself safe. Just for revving. 
You see what I mean, though? Let's not escalate it, even if revving is an escalation. Oh, tram tracks. Which the biker Good job getting over them. Tram race with too little care, which almost instantly ended in a costly lesson for him. Oh, the tram track. Remember, you want to cross over it as perpendicular as possible. I know he's going to merge over, but if you're going to do it, do it with intention. Don't just kind of scoot over. That will do it right there. So right here, purposely move over real quick. like a, Almost like a swerve from lane position one to lane position three. Or like from full left to full right. Like do a full swerve onto the road. It's a lane position change, but it's a swerve at this point. Because you want to get over this obstacle. It's a road surface hazard at this point. That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, this is going to be a little dangerous, probably. You don't know what the jump will do. Oh, ghost riding it. Ghost riding it. There you go. There you go. Apply a little bit of brakes. So I accidentally almost did this on my e-bike um, on a sidewalk. And one the sidewalk basically did this. And uh, I was going like 25. And I almost, I did the same launch. And I didn't fall off or anything, but this is where you got to be careful. You just got to be careful. Having fun on the camera. So you see how um, when we hit a bump, let's just go ahead and like think about this at, you know, like there's something in the road. We hit a bump, that back tire, that suspension is going to launch your butt up. So he is using his legs as suspension, but he's just going at a, such a higher speed. That is what's going to happen. So it launches him up, and it's going to start doing this. And it's like, now you don't have full control. And then we're going to hit the ground here, but watch, it's going to launch his butt up even more. There it is. So that back end is going to compress and push you up. So whenever we're going to go over an obstacle, if we have to, the goal is to avoid them. But if we have to, lift your butt up, use your legs as suspension, because when that back end does hit, it's going to hit air instead of your butt, which is better than you flying forward. So did a good job holding on. Did a good job holding on. Avoiding the curb. Get back off the road to ensure his own safety. Moving on. Oh, no, oh, geez. Oh, speed wobbles. A little bit of speed wobbles. Go ahead and pull off. Look forward. Ensure your own safety. So you can roll off the throttle and get off on the shoulder, too, but you want to ensure your own safety. Because if you, if she, if that person crashes and then you crash, you're not going to be able to help. A little bit of speed wobbles. Probably hit a bump. I wonder, I wonder if that was a transition from like the road to a bridge. Usually that's where it happened. Oh, nope, that's what caused it. So we landed it probably a little bit off and the suspension is gonna do this, which is gonna cause the handlebars to do this. So there it is. That's a danger. That's a risk. I'll say that. It, it turns into a danger, but it, it's a risk that you take. Be careful. Wear full gear. They're not wearing full gear. Just in case. How you doing, Orez? All right, here we go. Side of the vehicle. They're backing out. Swerve, 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 swerve. Get out of the way. Move on. Handled it. But if you see that, right? Little side of the vehicle. We start to slow down because we need an escape. So we slowing down. Very good. So we recognize this orange state situation. Slowing it down. We planned our ride. We're positioned, locating... We're assessing that this is a relevant threat, so we're going to have to navigate this. So he did good progressive braking. Let's get plan out of the way. Get plan out of the way. There you go. Good progressive braking, which is going to be that squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then we have to find that escape off to the left. We're going to have to find that escape, which is exactly what happened. I wouldn't rev bomb because now you remove a tool, right? So now you can't really accelerate because if you let go of the clutch, you're just going to bloop. So you want to uh, keep your tools and don't throw them at people, basically. And if you had your Cardo unit, which, guys, by the way, is a sponsor, link in the description for 10% off, you can tell your buddies behind you, hey, uh, we have an idiot. They'll know. They'll know. For him, but more cars come right after, so I okay. look both ways. I looked On an e-bike, right. I think? I looked left. Coast was clear. The cars on the left were too far back. I was going to clearly get past them easily. So okay, I would on the road. I hit my acceleration up a little bit so I can hurry up and cross. And then out of nowhere, Goody. 
I see headlights. Good after action. At this very uh -oh. moment, when I see headlights, comes panic. First thing I'm thinking is, I just okay. looked. There was no cars. Where the hell did this car come from? And it looks like it's moving fairly fast. Second stage of panic was even more panic, and now it's me mashing my front brakes. But by the time I hit the brakes, even if I hit the brakes sooner, we were just too close coming in too fast, oh. I would have not had enough time to stop. But at this point, we're too close. Now I'm just preparing to die. I oh. oh my. So we have a, yeah, there's the panic, the oh my. It didn't look like we were applying the brakes. We just kind of coasted. Oh. So there was a panic, it was a brown stage. We didn't see the vehicle. Um, it's just, at nighttime, it's harder to see the vehicles. And it looks like the, the median kind of blocked the line of sight. It is what it is. Um, that sucks. That sucks. This is one of those situations. Hopefully, you have some gear. Oh my. So, if you're able to say, oh my, and it still continue to coast, it means that we weren't applying the front brake because at that slow speed, we could just apply it a little bit and we would have stopped. So, yeah. And the link does work for other models too. You get 10% off basically of the site. I have a Pack Talk Edge. I love the Pack Talk Edge. Oh. Hopefully he's got some gear. I wear a downhill mountain biking helmet with my Cardo when I ride my e-bike because it has a full face. Lucky that he managed. And it's meant for downhill biking. Time and brake a little, not taking all the impacts. It's a big bike to be doing this with. Oh, oh my! Mm. The hell? Up. Mm. Yeah, I'm fine. Is that an e-bike though? See, it is a pretty big bike to be doing that. Hi right, guys. Well, I am fine. I'm gonna good. Be right back. Definitely All right. Where you were when this happened. Well, um, the cops are here. Stuff, there right? goes my bike. As a bike, no you good. All the rules of the road. Yeah. So even though that crosswalk thing was going, oh, that's a that's a real bike. You're making a left when she's coming straight, which technically gives her the right of way. Mm. As far as the rules of the road goes. So he's probably getting a ticket now, too. If you were a pedestrian, it would be different, but you're not allowed to ride your bike through a crosswalk. That would also be meant to walk in. Okay, there you go. A little more information. That was a good after action. Oh, there's the impact. Oh, with the Oh, no. Okay, so we have a passenger. So our total stopping distance is going to be increased. So if you don't know what total stopping distance is, it's basically your perception, reaction, and then the braking distance equals total stopping. So it's plus, plus, plus equals. So you have to perceive quicker, you have to react uh, quick, but you also have to react a little bit slow with the progressive braking, right? And then your total, and then your actual braking distance is elongated because you have more weight, and you need to do it smoother because you have that weird kind of weight. They're supposed to be kind of just sitting there, but sometimes they move and they do this, and so your braking distance is even further. So your total stopping distance is is a lot more. And this is something that gets some people in trouble because they think, oh, I'll just, I can stop. I know my bike. I know how to ride. I know my stuff. And they're like, I can totally make that. But then when you have that passenger, it's like, ah, you know, so same thing with the acceleration, a little bit slower, same thing with braking a little bit further. Um, you can also practice your escapes and your swerves to the right if you needed to, but we kind of just uh, didn't. I want to see his hand. So let's take a look. Now it's definitely a terrible illegal turn. Dangerous. Yes, they did something wrong. It's our responsibility to keep ourselves safe and our passenger. Let's take a look at his hand though. Okay, so we are squeezing the front brake, trying the best we can. Not gonna, didn't work though. Didn't work though. So hopefully everyone's fine. Hopefully everyone's fine. They're wearing a Cardo. Cardo Pack Talk Edge. Oh, geez. A little bit of slipping and slopping on the side. Thankfully, didn't hit that guardrail. Uh, the bike did, but we didn't. So how did that happen? Write in the comments how that happened. So we can see the, vi the video on the bottom right. I think we just panicked. Going a little too fast in the turn. Slammed the brakes, lost traction. That's how I think. What do you guys think? Okay, nice open, oh, of course, it's a track. There you go, nice open road on the track. What's gonna happen here, low side? Maybe we just went a little too wide. Maybe a little panic. Ooh, there's the side of the head. You're definitely gonna get 
a nice little bell rung and your little minor concussion. Oh. That does hurt. Maybe first day. Maybe first day, it's their first track. Maybe it's like a, a training day. Just went a little too wide, got a little scared. While getting Bruce up, Scott, here we go. He stopped to close the gate, but forgot one quite important thing. Side stand? Forgot the side stand? <laughs> uh, and then he has gloves right there. Why aren't you wearing your gloves? Dumb. So maybe, uh, you know, end of the day, it looks like it's the evening. We're the last ones. We're supposed to close the gate. We're tired. We're thinking of like going home and relaxing, right? Work, the biker stopped to close the gate, but forgot one quite important thing. So we weren't really thinking. We're thinking of the gate, just not thinking of everything. So one step at a time, side stand down, close the gate, get back on the bike. This is where focus really comes into play. You only follow her if there's a crowd. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, geez, that was a lot of high side. Now we're sliding. Whoa, what happened there? That was an interesting uh, intro. So we're up and over. There's the high side and there's the impact. So our back just hit the ground. This is why we have back protectors in our jackets. And yeah, wear some full gear. It looks like our shoe fell off too. Not good. All right, let's move on. Rubber ducky. Oh, I've seen this one. Dog runs out. Owner, I'm really upset with them. Speaking of doggos, Stella. Here, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. It was her 10th birthday yesterday, March 19th. Come here. Come here, she's tired. Say hi. I just woke her up. It's bring your dog to work day. My boss is pretty cool. Loud pipes save lives? Not really. Okay. So what kind of pattern was that? What kind of pattern was that? Take a look at this right here. So you can see it in your car. So when you're driving, you can practice it too. So if you're not riding every day, and you only ride on weekends or ride like, you know, twice a month or whatever it is, you can practice your open lane pattern recognition. So you're driving and you see that the vehicle in front is stacked behind some other vehicles and that other lane is open. And so it's like, oh, I bet you that person's gonna switch over. So if you're riding a motorcycle, you see the indicator. You don't own this space. You don't get to own it. You only own the space that you're in. And so when somebody wants to switch out in front of you, it's open space. It's your job to modulate your speed. You only have control of your body, not everything else. Uh-oh, 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 what's gonna happen here? Ooh! His left arm looks like it's hurting. He's guarding that. Good thing there's police there. Maybe it was a police chase, but uh, he was tumbling, and so his left arm kept hitting the ground. And so he's probably got a broken elbow. Might have been a chase. Oh, then this person just crashes into the guardrail. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Hi. All right, what else? Come on. Moving on. Oh, geez. That's not good. High mechanism for the bike. Imagine the body, right? Oh, he's not doing well. He's not doing well. He's either unconscious or just being detained. Who knows? Open lane pattern. Happy. You guys saw that, right? Let's get, let's get right to the front. So this lane is moving. The one that we're in. The other lane isn't. Yeah, they switched over, but they did it quickly. They do this to cars. It's not just motorcyclists. It's just scary for us because we don't have all the safety of a vehicle. So what we can do, we can recognize that this is happening, right? We're planning a ride. We're, we're in a great position because uh, we have a good line of sight, space cushions to the right, and we have a, a good space cushion in front of us and escape path. Locating this hazardous situation, assessing and navigating. So we assess that this person's coming in. How do we navigate? We apply the brakes. Good progressive braking. 
Happy Festivus and a good new year to all you filthy animals. I'd Thanks, like Obama. All these fine national. I hope okay. these peasants get cold tomorrow and they can. Ooh, whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? We're going a little too fast in the corner. Most of these went a little too wide, and this is why we need to protect ourselves by slowing it down. Let's get cold tomorrow, and they can my presidential. Um. Okay, we got a little bit more. Okay, this per I, this truck right here. They're already starting to move. You can see them getting closer to the line. So watch them get closer to the line. We're kind of in their blind spot. So how do we handle this? We apply the brakes. Mostly, if our two-wheeled friend stayed out of blind... Using a Cardo Pack Talk bold. But that also... Is the cop going to do it to you? Boring footage, though. The cop going to do it to you, too? Yeah, yeah. Open lane pattern. Our lane was moving. You saw that. Our lane was moving. The... Horrible... The tree, uh, whatever. We either want to... Trailer. Almost. Yep. Or thirst merging area. And okay. Simp doesn't have Watch out for merge areas. Okay, they might want to merge over, but that's fine. Stay staggered with other vehicles. We're group riding with other vehicles on the road. Look at Think him. of it that way. More dramatic piss baby here. Them. Our pagan holidays away. Here we go. Below the speed limit. So side of the vehicle, we're going to move around. Good thing we weren't speeding through 15 miles an hour. Very good. Okay, we're doing decent speed. That person should have stopped. But we did a good job moving over, listening to a uh, fire crackling. Anyways, here we go. So, oh, bump, bump, bump. Kind of messed us up on the turn. Why would they have... Why would they have that? That would have messed... Yeah. I mean, obviously, to slow you down, but... That seems like a poor decision by um, the civil engineers or whoever is running that. Okay, so lots of hazards. We have nighttime. Slow it down. Good job. Hopefully nobody backs up into us. We're really close. It's green light. He's trying to push them. It's like, come on, go. It's green light. But you don't know what they're dealing with. There might be somebody in front. Now you're kind of stuck. Oh, good job with the slow speed. There you go. Moved around. Slow speed maneuvers. Okay, what do we got here? That person's going to get mad, right? Okay. Now they're, yeah, stuck in open lane pattern. They might switch over. Okay, well, there it is. Thank you so much, Moto Stars, for putting this video on. Guys, remember, support the channel. Go to the shop. Get the digital drill booklet, 15 bucks, instant delivery. You get the phone-friendly version, so you can practice on your phone. And you get the full booklet as is. So, guys, I appreciate it. With that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'll see you on the next video.